Hi everyone, this is Pianist Programmer here once again and it's been quite an age on this channel. I've not posted video in like uh, I think three to four weeks now. That's because my research work is taking so much from me and I never believed that it would have taken so much time like that. I mean it's about music but I never believed that there was so much depth about music that we needed to research on so yeah in the past three to four weeks it's been crazy you know finding out new information about music signals and sound in general and that's why i'm making this video today so as you can see from the title it's how i got my phd scholarship to study in poland sit tight relax because this might help you get an opportunity as well. You probably know already, or maybe you don't. And if you have not seen that video, I will leave the link in the description below, or you'll find it somewhere at the top right now where um, I posted or I shared how I got my master's scholarship to study in China. So I will track back from that period until when I got the scholarship in Poland. Um, I, we were about to graduate sometime around 2020. That should be February, March. Yeah, and that period, the coronavirus was, was a hit in China. Like really, really a big deal. We were on total lockdown and um, and such we had to do our researches from our rooms well because the type of work i do basically i can do it just from my laptop i really don't need like a lab or go to some kind of place to make sure that um, i'm able to do my work unlike some other people or some of my friends and colleagues that had to literally go to the lab carry out some experiments handle the robots and all that my own work was basically on my laptop about information security. So I just had, so all I needed to do was write a few lines of code to test out, you know, attacks and all that. Yeah. So let's not go into that story. Track back from the period I was in China. Um, I remember that I was in a particular WhatsApp group. In fact, I'm still in that WhatsApp group because I, information keeps springing up and you can't tell which will be beneficial to you. And that's a very valid reason why you should not stay away from groups. A lot of people don't know the power of groups, but um, I can tell you now for a fact that groups are really important. And it's not just about WhatsApp group or Telegram groups or any of the social media groups, but groups in general, where you meet with people, where you share ideas, where you, you know, exchange cultural knowledge, and things like that they are really helpful so um, I joined this particular group on whatsapp and on this group a lot of information was shared I stumbled on this information so to speak and I just clicked it I followed through the links it was about a PhD scholarship I was looking for PhD scholarships actually at that at that time so Every opportunity to get a PhD scholarship was like whatever link was talking about PhD scholarships, there you will find me. I was literally scavenging the internet for PhD scholarships. So I clicked on this link, I followed through, and um, sad enough, it was not what I wanted because I had a, a Kind of area that i wanted to do my phd i decided i was going to be something on artificial intelligence something on deep learning um yeah machine learning and stuff like that so um this particular one did, was not in that line of research and so as i was about to close it up just on the same page i saw another link and then I just clicked it. I'm like, oh, okay, this is another opportunity. So I clicked it. I followed through from there. And it led me to the website of my current school. On visiting this website, it was so friendly, so 
easy to navigate so i found myself you know just playing around the website looking for relevant information on who to contact and then i went in search for the phd studies i saw they had like a joint doctoral school which i now know that it's the second second set of students so we are the second set of students to be in that joint doctoral school it's just a new school that was set up so i clicked this link and i followed through on the links and did all the necessary things and then i started searching the research areas because they, they they had the website had a lot of research areas already funded which is a very good thing at this point i must really say that if you're watching this video and it's giving you a lot of information or it's helping you with something a thumbs up on this video would be appreciated thank you very much and also you can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss information like this going forward back to the story i searched on the website things that had to do with machine learning artificial intelligence and areas like that and luckily for me i found this very interesting area it was artificial intelligence and music i'm like oh wait a minute this is cool artificial intelligence which was my major computer science background and music which is my passion fused together that's a good thing okay but before i continue i really must say this there are two types of phd scholarships that you could be looking for because this is all about giving you the real information there are two types of scholarship um there's what you call funded scholarships and uh, just phd studies okay and i don't just say just to downgrade what the whole thing really is but this is what i mean i will explain the funded scholarships are the university or a department has a research area that they are working on it's probably funded by a private company or funded by the government or funded by the university themselves or the department either ways it's a funded program and there is an ongoing research that you need to just plug yourself into and get going you do your part of the project you graduate and it's possible that the project will still be ongoing even after you graduate yeah that's one aspect of it now the second one is um, the very the most popular ones you bring your thesis, you bring your topic, you bring what you want to research about and you write a proposal to a professor and the professor is willing to supervise you and you embark on the journey. Usually they come with things like teaching assistantship, graduate assistantship, research assistantship and they are more or less in countries like Canada, US, Australia. Um, yeah those kind of countries they have those kind of packages especially in stems okay so having said those two i was looking for the one that was already funded because i wanted to save myself the stress of looking for a topic um yeah trying to get like what do i do for my phd and all that i wanted something already defined that i would just write a proposal for and if the professor was happy with it i was grafted into the research team to contribute my own quota to the project and it's possible that even after i leave the project will continue so i picked up my laptop and i wrote to the professor after finding out this topic on the website i wrote to the professor hey professor um, my name is this my name is that i can leave you the the template of what i used as well um, in the description if you want me to do that please just make a comment in the comment section and i'll do that for you definitely i messaged the professor wrote to him an email uh, sent him some other credentials to back up my music abilities and as well as my strength in programming and things that i've done using python because python would be the main language of anything machine learning so i did that and just in a few weeks time, the professor messaged me back and um, said, yeah, I'll be willing to 
you know, talk to you. So let's fix a time when we can talk. And we did. We talked. He liked what I presented. And the rest is history, right? The rest is history. He told me, you know what? I like you. I like your profile. And um, you should join the team right away. Yeah, you should join the team right away. Which is why I am now in Poland. Now, having said that, this is what a lot of people don't get to tell you. When you hear people get scholarships, they don't tell you where they failed. And you know how we do it on this channel. We keep it real. We keep it really real. So I'm going to tell you how I approached all those saga like when you get rejected when people don't answer your mails and things like that to start with i had written to a lot of professors a lot of them in the u.s in canada in australia i just kept writing like i had a mentor of mine then that would tell me you know what you need to write an email per day at least an email per day to a particular professor in whichever country if you're serious about getting this phd scholarship so I took that as a challenge and I was always writing every day. I wrote up to like 50 mails with no responses from professors in Canada, for example. And maybe one of them replied and told me, uh, sorry, I'm not in your field or you are not, um, you are not a good fit for what we are doing right now for this project that we have. And I got a lot of re rejection, like rejection messages, like rejection upon rejection upon rejection to the point that I termed it love letter. <laughs> yeah, I termed it love letter. So once I see a mail and it comes in and I read it, oh, another love letter. Oh, okay, we move on. And it doesn't discourage me from applying the next day for another opportunity that I, that I saw. That's something you should take away. If you're really serious about getting a scholarship, you should never, never give up on getting it because you're going to get a lot of rejection messages, a lot of rejection emails. Some emails will even tell you you're not good enough or they will tell you we, we look through your profile. We feel like you, your profile says it well, but you're Nigeria. Seriously? Okay. Yeah, I got one of one mail like that that really told me they don't want any anybody from nigeria ah. that was another level that was seriously another level but in all i was not discouraged i kept writing and eventually i got the scholarship yeah so people always ask me this question why poland in fact when i came to poland the polls were asking me like why did you come to poland why Poland? There's US, there was Germany, there was France, there was Italy, there was Canada, there was Australia. Why Poland? And my answer is, why not Poland? <laughs> okay, so at this point, I think I should address that question properly in another video. And you don't want to miss that video because, uh, because I've posted videos about Poland and my time here, lifestyle videos and things like that people have seen on on youtube a lot of people have emailed me like okay bro what is this what is that how do i get in what do you advise and things like that so because of that i'll be making a separate video and you don't want to miss that video so right now is the time to subscribe if you've not done so because i'll be sharing that video very soon why poland like why do you need to come to poland Poland is a growing country right now, and I think it's one of the best shots in, in Europe, um, fast developing, so why not Poland? But then, um, you give me some time to talk more and enlighten you on why it is important to catch the big fish right now. While the fish is still developing, hook it, you know, and plug yourself into what the trend is, and hopefully you will not regret that decision. So, that's been it. For this video, um, if there's any question you have or takeaways or anything, please leave them in the comment section. Again, if you're applying for PhD scholarships, keep applying. Um, don't give up. You never can tell. Some magic might happen. 
you know the second part of this video or the second part of this entire journey was how i got my visa to come to poland that's also for a separate video because that itself is a saga like another straight episode okay <laughs> and again you don't want to miss that episode because i'll be sharing especially if you're from nigeria you know how it is right now with the embassy the polish embassy in nigeria in abuja it's a lot so um you'll be getting tips on how to fast track your way if it's possible for you anyway but if you get a phd scholarship i'm sure something can be done in that regard either ways that's been it thank you very much for watching thank you very much for staying true if you stay true to this point and if you have not clicked the like button please do so right now and click the subscribe button and the bell beside it to give you notification when i post a new video until next time i'm gonna see you guys again it's pianist programmer signing out cheers